Welcome back, Patriots. We have a viral article that has resurfaced from the New York Post that shows a two-tier justice system where Lady Liberty no longer wears that blindfold. If you recall, in 2016, the Clinton campaign was fined $8,000 by the Federal Elections Commission, as well as the DNC $105,000 for, get this, misrepresenting how they spent funds used for the steel dossier on Donald Trump. Weird, because we just spent six weeks hearing a trial about Donald Trump allegedly doing the exact same thing. But I don't see any trial for Hillary Clinton. I don't see any trials for those in the DNC because the justice system is corrupt. Clinton's campaign and the DNC paid over a million dollars to a law firm which hired Fusion GPS to go after Donald Trump. The whole thing was a hoax. It's been completely debunked already. Nobody thrown in prison. Nobody labeled a felon. No trials. No court dates. Nothing of the sort. These payments, you guys, were incorrectly reported as legal services rather than opposition research. According to the FEC, no trials again. No grand jury. No media movement. Nothing of the sort. Donald Trump doesn't pay a parking ticket on time. Massive grand jury, media going after him, the Democrat Party labeling him a felon. It is wild. So here's video from 2018 from Fox News that's talking about this whole service payment that was misrepresented by the Clinton campaign as well as the DNC. And basically Trump asking, when am I going to get my reputation back? When are these people going to go to jail? When are these people going to be held responsible for their actions? Let's roll it. Well, welcome back. So is it accountability? The Federal Election Commission is now fining Hillary Clinton and the Democrat National Committee over the way it paid a firm to produce the notorious Steele dossier. The Clinton campaign has been fined $8,000 and the DNC slapped with a $105,000 penalty after a 2016 letter revealed that they violated campaign finance rules. The FEC says both parties failed to properly report payments for opposition research and the production of the dossier, instead labeling the payments legal services. Former President Trump now asking, where do I get my reputation back? Dagan McDowell, I mean, $8,000 fine, really. Uh, this is obviously uh, not much in terms of accountability after four years of uh, debate in this country, fights, uh, division because of the Steele dossier and the Russia collusion lie. Uh, it's a joke. Eight grand from the Clinton campaign when the Clinton and her cronies and the DNC paid a million dollars uh, for the Steele dossier combined, well, for the, to Perkins Coie, the law firm behind all of this. But again, no trial, no media movement, nobody exposing the Clinton campaign. Nobody going after Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton broke the law even when FBI director James Comey was there. He even said, ah, she broke the law, but I don't think she should be prosecuted over it. Donald Trump does virtually, allegedly, the same thing the Clinton campaign did. Not even as much money, right? $130,000 allegedly. And they're going to sit there and have this attorney general of New York City, Alvin Bragg, this nut job, sit there and hoax up this whole thing very similar to what the Clinton campaign did in conjunction with the DNC of cooking up this whole thing of the Steele dossier against Donald Trump, a hoax, just like the Russia hoax was. It's so too, it's so ridiculous. It pisses me off. We all see it. We all need to get out in big numbers and vote for Donald Trump in 2024. They're already doing this stuff to average Joe Americans like you and I, but they're willing to do it to Donald Trump. They're willing to do it to you and I, and they already are folks. We need to show them that we, the people, are here that we the people are the ones that they should be scared of not us scared of them let them hear your vote in 2024 vote for donald trump here this november hit that like and subscribe button watch this video all the way through folks share it with your friends and family all over social media folks i'll see you next time here on the Ball brad show